My name is Lance Holm. I'm a wildlife education specialist for the Wildlife Defenders. Wildlife Defenders is the keystone program for an agency called Bridges for Brain Injury. Bridges is dedicated to helping adults with disabilities like traumatic brain injury recover and rehabilitate their lives. I'm a graduate of the program myself. I started out here about six years ago. But after graduating, I came back as a volunteer because the work is so important. And uh, eventually they hired me and now I'm an employee with the agency and I couldn't be happier. We're out there rescuing lives. My name is John Truini and I'm a proud employee of Bridges for Brain Injury. Uh, I am the director of the Structured Day Program and of Wildlife Education. I am the founder of Wildlife Defenders, which is our signature program. Uh, wildlife Defenders is a wildlife education outreach program run by adults that have suffered a traumatic brain injury. And their participation in this program is part of their rehabilitation. They assist us in caring for the over 40 species of animals that we maintain, and they take out in the community what they learned. And while doing so, they're working on personal goals to rehabilitate themselves and to rejoin the community. When a program member joins the Wildlife Defender program, the first thing they do is they meet the team. You know, so much of what we do here is about being part of the team and part of something larger than yourself. At that point, we introduce them to the many species of animals that we work with. And there's wildlife and education involved in our day program. You know, we learn about the different species, you know, what it takes to care for them and uh, how to exercise and enrich them. And of course, how to safely handle and train them. But they are mammals and like all mammals, they have hair and you can see these fine hairs underneath their body. These, um, these hairs are very, very sensitive, uh, well, uh, sensory receptors. One of the things that draw people to us in fact, are the animals. Uh, people love animals. Not only do we have animals, but we have a beyond a zoo quality collection of animals. So it starts with a visit. Then if that individual wants to participate, uh, it's written into their plan by their service coordinator. We have them join our family and orient for the first week and just get used to the new schedules, get used to the new transportation, and especially all the new people. After that, they get comfortable with our animal ambassadors and we begin grooming them to learn as much about the animals as they possibly can, including their captive care and fascinating facts about them. Aren't they also called the glass lizard? They are called the glass lizard, Jason. And that is because, yeah, where the separation is, that is where they can break off their tail. And then when they're ready, and if that's something they desire, we take them out into the community for their first community presentation. We often start at a daycare or a small venue to make them comfortable, and then it goes from there. Um, the more experience they get, the better they get, and the more they love it. Bella means beautiful in Italian, which might be an unusual name for this drab brown puppy skin blob that we like to call the new cute. The Wildlife Defenders recently went to Sotus Library and we were doing our Pioneer Library System tour. So we had a group of program members with us and some amazing animals. And we have really been enjoying the library tours to get up there in front of a group of children and to see the audience's reaction when you bring out like a large marine toad or the koi poo or the porcupine, just to see people's reaction when they don't get to see these animals up close and personal while at the same time knowing that you're doing so much good. You know, it's great to work with the individual program members, you know, up there. It was a lot of fun to do the program. The other thing that happens is that we're putting adults with disabilities in front of school-aged children as role models and as people that have something to contribute. Uh, the individuals in the greater Rochester area, we have children that grew up with the Wildlife Defenders. They don't see the disability what they really see is the educator. And it has such a, uh, I don't know, such an effect, not just on the children who see these adults with disabilities up there as role models, but it does such good for our program members as well, um, because they are heroes. We hear stories about kids going home and, you know, they're playing wildlife defenders, you know, they're using their stuffed animals and, you know, like this is a monkey. 
and pretending they're part of our team. Or, you know, our people get approached out in public on the sidewalks or Walmart and, you know, children will come up and ask for their autograph. And it just, it makes them feel very, very good. It's good for everyone involved.